it's soft sell soft bands with Mark Allman, and they did this song. And I always imagine when they didn't have much money that um, Mark Allman got his dad to play keyboards on the song. You see when they first started. <laughs> <out. laughs> you press play, Stuart. So this is. <laughs> Now that's getting cocky. <laughs> 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 I used to do that. Started off, I left school and got a job at Franny Lee's packing toilet rolls. Um, <laughs> in the factory, not in his house. Yeah. Right, you know what I mean? <laughs> not unpacking his shopping. And then uh, I worked there for six months and then I left at Christmas because they went to continental shifts and I won't wear a sombrero, <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> what about the cash, you worked in a cash and carry too, didn't you? I worked in a cash and carry, I went working there after with... Uh, we had a manager there called Brian By The Way. That was his name, Brian By The Way. It's a great name, that. But see, you couldn't write that, Brian By The Way. And he used to be, he would kind of manage it. If you've got time to lean, you've got time to clean. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or... Uh, Oh, he's be obsessed with putting stacking shelves. You put some on shelves, and he goes, whoa, whoa, whoa! Put that there. Eye level is buy level. <laughs> if they can't see it, they can't buy it. <laughs> they were having a robbery there, cash and carry. They were a Thursday night, proper arm raid. It's true this, and I was working. It was a Thursday night, and um, I was pricing up tuna fish with Kevin Broughton, <laughs> and they um, <laughs> it come on Tannoy, cash office, Miriam. Mr. Mr. Bowler. Just the end of the tannoy, you know. Mr. By the way, I thought something's going down here, Kev. And we run round into Pop Isle, and they were at front. Pop Isle. Pop Isle. And they were at front with these sawn off shotguns, you know. But <laughs> if you're ever in anything like that, it's delayed shock. Because at the time, your brain, it's like it's not happening, you know what I mean? I mean, when I got home, I was sobbing in the middle of tomorrow's world. But like when, <laughs> at the time, like they turned, and I swear to God, they went like, they turned, they went, you two! Get down! And I said, what? You mean dance? <laughs> <laughs> you bring the family down today? Yeah, I brought my mum down and my wife Susan and um, my nan. <laughs> 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 my nan has come. Does she, oh, she, she's a bit of a character, your nan, isn't she? Yeah, she is, God love her. She's, um, <laughs> she put a flask up on train. <laughs> which is... Well, they won't know what that means, do they? Will they? No, it's put a flask. Tea. It's a flask of tea. <laughs> That's right. Put a flask up means you brought. We're in first class. I treated them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you treated us. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> in fact, I've got the receipts. If, uh, <laughs> and she, we, we, she brought some sandwiches. So when they came down first class with trolley, we had a Tesco's all nut bar and uh, sandwiches <laughs> out. <laughs> and a flask of tea. He said, the tea's stewed, Peter. Taste out. That's tea. That's, no, that's tea. <laughs> no, that's tea. That's my tea, that. <laughs> God love her. But she's always coming out with great... She said a great thing the other night. Did you see... Um... <laughs> Cos that run last Sunday, Stanley Kubrick's uh, uh, chocolate orange, she called it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see a chocolate orange? Stanley Kubrick. Where <laughs> 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 did you get all your material from? No, precisely. I mean, you just... I mean, you do... You, I, mean, I mean, A, that's why you don't leave your, your roots. I mean, the, 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 you like living up there, of course you do, but you just keep your ears open and it's all there, isn't it? Yeah, well, it becomes... I, I don't know you do, where you get it from. My mum went to the library and said... Um, woman said... Your Peter's doing very well for himself, but he, he's always really quiet when he comes in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a library. It's a library. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Can I just return these, love, please? I think one of them's overdue. Do you want to check? <laughs> Stick this here a sec. Oh my god. You can edit all this out, can't you? <laughs>
Bag of treats, dinner, because it was your last show. I thought, oh, you know, I thought we'd be having Presents. a laugh. Good. I've got party arts here. <laughs> Stick one of them on. <laughs> table clock. I thought you'd have had a big table, though. I've only got that. There you are. <laughs> you know, kick our heels up a bit. Right. Enjoy ourselves, there you are. <laughs> Stick one. Right, there. Blow on that. Go on. Go on. <laughs> yeah! Yeah. Look at that. What's that? Victoria sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but you've said that a few times, haven't you? <laughs> 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 yeah. well, I'm, uh, I've got some plates and all. There you go. <laughs> Is it that way up? <laughs> 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 no, I thought, you know, we were having a laugh. <laughs> French fans, I'm gonna name it. Oh dear. Got the lot of it. Oh, cordial. Yeah, Lawrence, you got cordial. Let's see how I'm gonna do it. Do you want a drink, David? Do you want a drink, David? Do you want a hat? Do you want a hat? Got a party popper here for David. Do you want one of them? Buy that. Come on. Here you are. <laughs> hey! How are you talking? This is about you, this. I know. This is your if last one, man. I know that. Oh, what are you afraid of? Go on. Cos you're... this is it. Now, what else is there? You've had them all on here, haven't you? I've had them all on here. Fred Astaire. Yeah. Bette Davis. Yeah. Roddle. Yeah. <laughs> Markham and Wise. The two of them. You kiss of death, aren't you, when you think about it, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> How long have we got? You know what I mean? <laughs> we're not on cos we're good, we're on cos we're alive. <laughs> Thank God you were on. I thought I was youngest. It's like Cocoon, this. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny, this is a guy in a, in a dressing room and an act come in once. I was showing a dressing room with this act. And he'd come in and put his bag down in front to eat at the eater on the wall. And it, this is where I got idea for Brian from this. And it blew back this eater. There were a guy on stage singing, you know, a welder by day, Neil Diamond by night, you know. <laughs> and he's singing, um, don't go changing the track. I stand up for this, can I? Do you mind? No. Don't go. I can't. I'll go, I'll go with you because you won't see. Hang on. <laughs> I'll put it back. <laughs> Don't go changing to try and please me. You never... I'm in dressing room. Uh, he puts his bag down and eat blows back. Bang! All lights go. You can eat comp... He, he runs down, man. He blinds it. What have you done? He said, you put your bag in front of eat it. He said, you're blowing the lights. You're blowing the lights. And he ran on stage, grabbed the microphone off this singer and went, Marion, Marion, are them, are them cash tills still on there? Are they still on? And she went, yeah. He went, right. That's all he was bothered about, money. <laughs> Threw it back to his guy, went, I need to know that <laughs> you will all... He, he didn't miss a beat. Brilliant. God love him. Brilliant. <laughs> No, sit, down, sit, over sit there, down, then. Sit down there. It's all changed now, Ant. I've not been on ITV. It's nice. It's, it's very nice. You like it here. It's a bit bigger. Casters. Yeah, ca oh, <laughs> you've not got casters. I thought you had casters. casters. I thought you had casters. <laughs> Go I on, thought that's we... why you came. You've been casters. And close-ups. Go easy on them slow zooms. I'm telling you now. <laughs> you can see Jerry Springer's fillings last week. You look this far. Well, Saturn, what's crack with this? Is that? Pull back, pull back. Uh, now, listen, first up, first question I'm with you, how's your nan? Oh, she's fine, yeah, oh, she's great. fine. She's 84 in December. Yeah. She'll not like me saying that, but whatever. Yeah. I always say it anyway. Not, well, not last year, because you're 83. <laughs> <laughs> she's fine, yeah, she's, uh, she's well, she sends her love. She wants to know when give us a clue's coming back. That's <laughs> when <she's> <laughs> You're back on ITV. When's the big reunion? You and Lionel Nuna, eh? Uh, <laughs> Just not taking those were the days. Don't you worry. I'd man. love to do charades with you. I'd say oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> we had my nan doing Jumanji at Christmas. She wrote for <laughs> two hours. She wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> um, she stopped.
starts eating uh, eggs because she don't want bird flu. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I swear to God, that's true. Um... She was trying to get... Oh, go, oh, anyway, go on. Go on. I, <laughs> got, I took her out of a day in car and my sister rang up and I've got his hands free thing in car. So my sister went, I went, you all right? Because you just talk. And I went, yeah, I'm fine. I went, I mean, Nan's with me. And she went, hello, Nan. I mean, Nan's, hello, Julie. But she's talking to the door. That's what the speaker is. Hello, Julie. No, she's everywhere. She's not in the door. I'll tell you another one. I used to be an usher. £2.14 an hour in all sweets I could eat, I tell you. I used to tell people endings of films as they were coming in. I'd say, there you go. Rip tickets and thread them through a needle. Oh, I'd yeah. one, of course. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I'd tell them endings of films. I'd say, there you go. Um, two for six cents. Bruce, I didn't think Bruce Willis would be a ghost. Enjoy the film. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but once, we had a guy come in one Saturday afternoon. He came in, this guy, and he had a... God love him. He come in and he said, I don't feel very well. He said, and I think I'm going to have a fit. And I went, oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> and and I, uh, he came in and, and he, he went into it. We put him in the corner and he laid down. They went and got the manager who, and projectionist, Alan, who were for Ewood Job Club. <laughs> and um, he was only partially sighted dwarf projectionist I've ever met in my life. He had a pair of binoculars and a spoon. <laughs> and uh, they went and they got, oh, you were a diamond, did <laughs> They went and got in and they came down and, and saw this man put him in recovery position. You, you, what but, are you doing to this poor man? No, no, I'm telling him. No, listen. And then, but listen to this, we had 200 kids in Toy Story. <laughs> so I said, what are we going to do? Because if they pile out and they see him here, they'll be all panned up. They'd rank for ambulance. So I said, what are we going to do? And the manager said, get that. And it was a six-foot cardboard cutout, a flipper. Right. <laughs> and they carried it over and they sat it in front of him. All uh, oh, kids come out, you know, and I went, I said, oh, God, you can't do that, you can't do that. You know, that's awful. And paramedics come and said, where is he? I said, he's over there. <laughs> Behind Flipper, you could just see his head, you know. <laughs> so, oh, no. <laughs> we shouldn't have You sure know you shouldn't have No, you shouldn't have No, it's not. We're not laughing at him. No, we're not. We're laughing at Flipper. <laughs> 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 Flipper. But working in those clubs at that time, when you look back on, on those days, uh, from your position where you are now. Do you look back with fondness? Do you enjoy it? Oh, yeah, it's, it's... I think it's... Um, I did Eccles Masonic Hall once with a, <laughs> uh, a shirt like that. So the guy said to me, uh, how do you want your lights? And I went, well, what are my options? He went, on or off. I <laughs> <laughs> mean, a light switch up wall. <laughs> I'm with a shirt lookalike who did Shania Twain songs. <laughs> <laughs> and in another gig with her, uh, and she, this other one were a show look like uh, she would call share and share alike. That were her stage. <laughs> I did a Shania Twain one. She would call Shania Twin. <laughs> These two. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and uh, she was supporting Pete Law, not Meat Law. Pete Law. <laughs> Pete Law. Get it. Carpet fitter with a grudge. <laughs> <laughs> he had an Harley Davidson on stage, <laughs> and he did Bato to Mel. <laughs> <laughs> I did a gig last year, I've got to tell you this, and this was funny, at Blackpool Opera House. And uh, there were, for some reason, they were all magicians on it second half. <laughs> and I didn't know, I knew they were, but I, what happened? I come out begin at night and I said, hello, and curtains were shut. And the big curtains at Blackpool Opera House, and I put them on my shoulder. I said, these should be open, and I pulled them open, like that. <laughs> and then, because I said, like that set up back there, it looks lovely, that. And everyone laughed and thought we were all past it short. And then I did my bit and everything. And the second half, I come on, they were shut again. And I went, they're shut again. So I put it on my shoulder and pulled them up. And there's a magician trying to put a woman in a box. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse than the funniest thing. He's like, ah, get in! <laughs> How is she? How's it? Oh, she's fine. She's sure. I've got your present for you. Have you? Oh, she's great. She's fantastic. Me and Min is now. Here like you go. That, she mate. sent you that. Thank Have you. a go with that. Where is it? She's 86 now. Is she? Mm hmm. Is she well? Yeah, she's cracking, yeah. Is she? She's lovely. still watching the programme? Yeah, she watches you. She won't be ne what, next week, cos you're off, aren't you? But yeah. that's it, man. Like. <laughs> well, have a look, dude. She's got you this special. She had one of these spur for you. What is it? What is it? It's when you put it on, on your neck. You know when you're in a ward and can... <laughs> <laughs> she's in a... Oh, whoa, whoa, where are you at? No, tell me that, Tom. It's for when you're in a ward and control flat. <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> Push your button there. <laughs> That's what you do. That's what right, They come running, do they? Yeah! <laughs> if Mary's in garden and you're keel over watching Cash in the Attic or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Put 
gosh, no, no, I see you, see. Love me. No, I see you. And I've got you something. Why, why, you, why you got? Because I've got you something. Because you've got to. Um, now you're hanging it up. You've got to keep <laughs> acting. You know what I mean? I don't want you going stiff. You've got to get. <laughs> keep going. And I've got you. Uh, um, here, you are. you'll love this. <laughs> stand up. Stand up. Oh God. Come on, I've, got you this. I've got your job. <laughs> yeah. Sit morning. It's a primary school. It's a primary school. Yeah. 20 minutes at morning, yeah. 20 minutes at night. Yeah. That'll be you. <laughs> Go on. Oh! That's hey. it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Thank you. Thank you. Can you sing, Sandra? Not you? at all. No, you can't. Not no at voice all. at all. Never my, tried. No, my parents were opera singers. They say the gene skips a generation. It did. <laughs> it did. Yeah, all right. Absolutely. And uh, you, in your family, that suggests that you might have a you know fine singing voice. I mean, was that your first ambition to be a singer? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it for a laugh. You did my current relief video, and I said to you, and we're filming. I just said I sang this song. Play it on your show on the radio on a Sunday. And you went. Why don't you sing it? <laughs> and I went, yeah, I'll be a laugh. And then you know, you go, on, I told Susan, I said, I'm singing a song. She went, oh, what are you doing that for? I said, well, it'll be a bit of fun. So it's a bit of fun. Well, that's the idea. We're having fun. Oh, I'm not saying that, but I'm not Michael Ball. There's no album coming no. out. You, know what I mean? <laughs> you can't. You cancel Scissor Sisters on strength of this. <laughs> 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 no, no pressure. Now the choice of songs is interesting because it, 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 this wasn't one of the of the six LPs you had as a kid growing up. <laughs> no, wasn't it's it? not. But, but I'm singing it for me now. Where are you? For Edie, right? Oh, now I told her I was singing it, oh, and uh, she went, "What? You <laughs> not?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah." And she went, "You not?" She still thinks it's the wind up. Yeah. And when I sang it on a show on Granada, with Andy uh, Pryor, television station Andy Pryor, in North England, I sang it. And uh, my nan came watching me, and there was no audience. She was just sat on a chair, and I finished, and I came over, and she said, Oh, you know Sonata, are you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, well done. She's like, you know Sonata. <laughs> so I'll all sing right. it for Miss her. This is nan, and for all of us who have it. All right, Peter Key, your band is over. <laughs> Peter Key. Just a game or two. 